Good afternoon, Americans! This is your favorite alien here on the afternoon of Friday, March 15th, 2024. The Ides of March, or as you know it better, Et tu brute! Now, there's got to be some explanation of this, so I'll try to give you one here uh, for the Ides of March. When the Roman calendar was first put out and established in 463 BCE, uh, well, there wasn't much to a Roman calendar, okay, because uh, they had days. And uh, remember that the months were 10 months, okay? Okay. And the last numbers that you have on there from the seventh month through the uh, tenth month, Septimus, Octavus, Novenus, and Decam, Decembus, Decasembus, okay? December, Deca, is ten. November is nine. October is eight. Acta is eight. Septima is seven. So that was the calendar of the Romans, ten months. When they got to Martius, which is named for the god of Mars, or March, as you Americans called it here in English, March, uh, yeah, it's not for marching, it's for Mars, okay? yo uh, Okay. The 15th of Mars, uh, or March, uh, was a day of veneration. Every 15th of the month, they always had Ides. The Ides of Septimus, the Ides of Acta. And the, but the Ides of March were sacred because of the top god, Jupiter, i.e. Zeus in Greek, but Jupiter in the Romans. So when you reach the Ides of March, everybody knew, oh, okay, uh, we've gone through 74 days already in the year. So because the Gregorian calendar has leap year, this year happens to be the 75th day of the month. <laughs> but that's because of us uh, changing the Roman calendar and the Roman changing their calendars later on. Because remember, they added July and August uh -huh, for Julius Caesar and Octavian Augustus. And October, by the way, was not already there for Octavian, okay? That was there for Octa, not Octavian. So if somebody tells you that, they're <gasps> misleading you. Anyway, on the Ides of March, you had Platius, which was the uh, supreme Greek, I mean, a Roman priest for Jupiter. And it was a day of uh, procession, especially sheep procession, down the Via Sacria, uh, all the way down to what later became the Roman Forum. And, uh, well, their poor sheepies were <laughs> sacrificed. Lucky it wasn't human beings, huh? Oh, boy, we got to tell them about the Aztecs and the Incas and all the guys that we come from. They used to throw you out the uh, pyramid here. Whoop! Yeah! Sorry! <laughs> Oh, that's right. You didn't feel anything. You didn't have a heart when you went down here. Yo! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the Romans weren't exactly that bad, but they were pretty good. Can you imagine having sheepsies? And you're talking about thousands, sometimes 5,000, sometimes 10, but thousands of sheepies going down this procession with the uh, platius in the front. Uh, yeah, and by the time they got here, poor sheepies, you heard, oh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, okay. So from 463 to uh, Julius time, 44 BC, uh, 
they were all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, different festivals that were celebrated on the uh, Ides of March. Uh, people running around naked all over the place, people having hinky pinky in the Via Sacria. Oh boy, that must have been fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can imagine how the Romans were. You know, the Romans were the Romans. So uh, when old Platius uh, went around there, you know, because there was a lot of Platius. I mean, oh, there must have been a lot of priests from 463 B.C. all the way down to Julius times, a lot of Platius. Well, when this uh, soothsayer that they mentioned in Julius Caesar uh, told uh, old Julius, and what I mean by Julius Caesar, I mean by old Mr. Shakespeare. Uh, whether this happened or not, we don't know. But according to Julius Caesar's Shakespeare, by Shakespeare, uh, you know, uh, his soothsayer came to see Julius and said, beware of the Ides of March. That means stay home, boy. Don't do anything on the Ides of March. And Caesar was going over to the Senate to uh, talk to the senators. Oh, boy, bad mistake, you know. Well, when Caesar went over there, and according to the Roman records, he probably got clobbered 60 times. 60, can you imagine? Oh, boy, and he's still alive? And by the way, they said that he says, bad child. He did not say, et tu brute. Uh, can you imagine him saying, et tu brute, after 60 stabs? Oh, that took, took, would have taken a lot to do that. Et tu brute. Oh, yeah, well. But that's poetic license by Mr. William Shakespeare, who said, he said, et tu brute. Well, that changed the meaning of the Ides of March forever under the Romans. The parties ceased to exist after that. No more Platius that we know of after 44 B.C. And by the time Octavian took uh, possession in 27 B.C. as the Emperor Augustus, uh, it was declared that the Ides of March were a federal holiday because of the death of his uh, namesake, Julius. Because remember, he was adopted by Julius. So, uh, well, Octavian, known, now known as Augustus, and forever the Ides of March were considered a sacred thing because the Roman senators went over there and <laughs> old Julius, and then 1,500 plus years later, eh, to Brute! Uh, Brutus and Cassius, well, outside of the uh, uh, story by old William Shakespeare, uh, we don't know for sure if Julius and Cass, I mean, uh, if Brutus and Cassius had something to do with that, but uh, they were part of the senators that uh, Octavian hunted down as you were an Israeli Mossad, and whoosh, all of them that were responsible for the 60 stabs at old Julius. And by the time he became uh, emperor in 27 BC, he had wiped them all out. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. So there you go. And this is the uh, best story I can find on the Ides of March. Uh, after Julius Caesar became uh, emperor in 27 BC, he decided to number the days of the calendar. So then the Ides of March further went back into history as a footnote, except for the fact that poor Julius got... <laughs> yeah, and that's the only thing that was left for the Ides of March. Oh, Julius Caesar and et tu brute for the last 500 years under William Shakespeare. This is your favorite alien saying, and now you know some of the story. Good day.